Hi my beautiful Libras and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your January the 3rd until the 10th Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome and if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you. Um, I'm not doing personal readings right now, but I will let you guys know when I am up and running with the personals again. I will be doing ex um, an extended version to this, so if you're interested, the link will just be right down below. We're going to take a look at how your person is feeling about you, what do you need to know, what are they hiding, what do you want, to, or sorry, what do they want you to know, what are their true intentions, what drew them to you, and what is their favorite thing about you. I will be pulling some romance angels and lovers oracles as well. Those of you that are already subscribed to me on here or um, on Instagram or Facebook, which the links to those are down below as well, then you're automatically entered in the giveaway each month to win a free personal reading. As well as starting this Saturday, I will be doing mini giveaways on Instagram only. Um, and I'll be doing them every Saturday. So it's either going to be a free question, a free horoscope, or it will be um, a free extended reading that you get. So those of you that are following me over there, you guys can look out for that on each Saturday, probably in like the afternoon. I'm not really sure about the timing yet. But uh, yeah, so let's get in and see what we can get for you guys for this week ahead. All right, I'm just gonna light incense. All right, so what messages can we get for my beautiful Libras? Show me, what do Libras need to see? What messages can we get for my beautiful Libras? So the Ten of Cups in reverse, you guys. Some of you are realizing that you can't some of you are realizing that you have a certain vision in life. I feel like I need to pick this one up. Tower, yeah. Okay. Some of you guys um, are having a breakup with a Scorpio. Others of you have um, a certain vision for a relationship that has come crashing down. I definitely sense that there could have been a breakup or um, there was somebody that you were interested in and they could have been leading you on and you're now realizing. But it's like being woke to a fairy tale that you were envisioning for yourself with a certain person and realizing that that's not how it's going to work or that that's not how it's been working. Others of you are having to leave your ideal relationship behind because you're missing out on opportunities with other people in your life that don't really look like it's what you want but in the end they're actually what you need right so it's like you have this perfect fantasy of the type of person and you're you weren't really accepting anybody that didn't fit that exact type of person and that has led to you know a lot of loneliness for some of you so I feel like you guys are letting that go and you're being more open to different kinds of people that especially are not you know your usual type people that are a little bit outside of your your norm here I definitely sense that if there wasn't a breakup or a tower moment then this is something that is happening this week it's like there's something that at one point made you very content emotionally but it no longer makes you feel emotional and you're having to remove that out of your life because you know accepting that this person or this thing isn't fulfilling you is one thing but then keeping it in your life is still keeping your energy to a certain level right you need to raise your energy you need to raise your vibration constantly right as soon as we realize something isn't good for us we need to remove it from our life so that we can find something that is better for us or so that there is room for something better for us when the time is right for something better or someone better to come along here but I definitely feel like there is a faulty foundation in your life some of you this is somebody that has been trying to sell you a certain dream of a relationship but it's like their words and their actions aren't matching up and when this tower moment comes in it's like you're gonna see a lot of red flags that you weren't able to see before All right, messages for Libras. One second. Okay, Ace of Swords with the King of Pentacles. So with this Ace of Swords, you are definitely getting clarity um, or truth, honest truth. Somebody wasn't being honest with you. Somebody wasn't being truthful with you. For some of you, this could definitely be about... Um, somebody that you were dating could have been lying about how much money they had or how stable they were. 
others of you this person could have a family here this is somebody that you were planning to have a family with you were planning to get married to and you're finding out that this person has a family already here and the truth is being spoken here there's definitely some truth that is going to be shaking your world up a little bit here um but only in order for you to rebuild it and rebuild it in a strong way there's a lesson that you will learn here that you will take into the future that will help you to avoid these types of you know um events occurring again could have been an earth sign that was lying a taurus virgo or capricorn here this person could have, if they're not lying about having a family and they were lying about their career and how much money they make, this person might have thought that that is exactly the type of person that you wanted or you needed, right? So they tried to present themselves as that perfect person to get this perfect life with you. But because it started on lies, you know, it, it can't turn into that anymore. Yeah, Seven of Swords, there's somebody that um, was lying here, somebody that has betrayed you, whether you know this or you're going to be finding this out, but... There is somebody that was really only looking out for themselves here. They were only, this person has ulterior motives, um, a hidden agenda. Knight of Cups. This is somebody that is very charming, somebody that is very, very attractive as well. So this is somebody that, you know, might have told you that they wanted to commit or that they were not ready for a commitment. But in turn, it's like that's not something that they had ever actually intended to give or to offer here. This could have been somebody that had multiple parties in the picture and you had no idea about this. I really do not like this energy. I was not expecting this. Um, but there is somebody in your circle that you need to be careful of or somebody possibly coming into your circle that you need to be careful of it could strongly be a Scorpio energy here as well um but this is somebody that you know they put themselves before anybody anybody and everybody and you know when they do things that they should feel bad about after they don't they just kind of look at look at you like you should have expected it right like they don't feel sorry for things that they've done wrong in the past or things that they've done wrong to you and you guys finally, you know, get the truth about this. This could be somebody that targets people like this all the time, like the, the devil, yeah. A self-sabotaging energy here. This is somebody that could have some sort of toxic, they could be married and they could have like sexual addiction so they go outside of their marriage to find, you know, um, pleasure from other sources here with the devil this is a toxic energy right you may feel tied to this person and that's why it's hard for you to leave because no matter what it is that they do you feel this certain tie you feel like you can't let go of them some of you it's almost like this person might make you feel a little bit crazy because it's like you cannot let go you can feel like you cannot release them um and no matter how hard you try it's like this person's always on your mind here i feel like this is a very very manipulative person here I'm hoping that once this tower moment comes in with this ace of swords right you see the truth you get the clarity that you've been needing because some of you guys intuitively knew something was off from the very beginning but you didn't want to believe it or you pushed it out for so long that it just you don't see it anymore right but i feel like once this tower moment comes in you're gonna see this person for who they really are who they truly are They'll do whatever they need, say whatever they need to get whatever they need. That's the type of person that this is. Sorry guys, I just had a title that I needed to write down. Messages for Libra. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see this person for what they truly are and you're gonna be cutting them off. I think you're gonna switch how you act with this person so quickly, and I don't think they're gonna expect it because either you know, they've given so many signs that you've ignored that they just figured you already knew. 
or um, you've just forgiven them for so many things that they kind of thought like they could never mess up to a point where you would, you know, cut them off. But I do sense you are going to be seeing this person for what they truly are. You are going to be cutting them off and you're not going to be feeling bad for it. You're going to speak your truth. There's a lot of things that you've kept in that you've held in because no matter what this person's done or no matter how much they've hurt you, you have a level of respect and love for them that you will not throw out the window even if they don't treat you the same way here but it's like that it's over with you're going to say the things that you've been holding in the things that you've really truly wanted to say to this person and you're going to be coming off very harsh and this person's going to see you as very cruel but what it really is is like you're hurt right you're hurting and you have all these things that you've kept in that you're finally able to express to them so of course you're just gonna you know go at it It's almost like what I'm getting is like somebody's making fun of you, right? Somebody's making fun of you in a room full of people, but your mouth is taped shut. So you can't do anything or say anything except take all of this crap that this person is saying to you. And then finally, like, let's just say this goes on for like 72 hours straight, like to the point where you cannot take it anymore and then finally your tape gets removed and you just get to say everything that you've been wanting to say for that past 72 hours right it's like that's how, what's gonna happen you're literally just gonna snap and just start saying all kinds of truths that this person needed to hear because I feel like this power moment isn't just for you I feel like it's for them as well like karma is going to be coming towards them and you saying what you need to say is a part of their karma because I feel like in the past like people don't say things to this person like they just let them get away with whatever they they do and i feel like that's a huge reason as to why this person continues to do what they do yeah see you're fine i see new love coming in for you guys we have judgment with the four of swords the king of pentacles or sorry the knight of pentacles and the four of wands here so for others, or for some of you, if this is something recent that is happening, um, there's already somebody here that's been wanting to, that's wanted to be with you that is just kind of waiting around for the right moment. I do see that. Um, and for others of you, this is just somebody that is, you know, already aligned to be your next partner. And they're, you know, slowly making their way towards your life. It's just that you kind of need to make room for this person. Um with the judgment here I definitely sense that this person is going to try to come back to you after you decide to cut them off because it's almost like this person is going to go through a huge awakening and realizing you know that what they've put people through because it's almost like this person was just so clueless like so self-absorbed observed self um obsessed and just clueless to their actions towards other people like they honestly had no idea somehow like that's it's pretty messed up but you are definitely the one person that's gonna because I feel like this is somebody very stubborn like people can tell them things a thousand times a thousand different people in a thousand different ways but until they learn for themselves you know or until they have this magical epiphany they never realize right and it's almost like you speaking your truth is really gonna help this person to see you know what it is that they it's almost like you're going to mirror them somehow you're going to be able they're going to be able to see the reflection of everything that they are within you and i think it's because honestly this is so sad but for some of you this person literally broke you or they're just going to be breaking you in that moment when you snap because i feel like you guys were very loving very caring very very sweet like you won't raise your voice you won't you know you just always treat people with love and respect you're very very selfless and because of that this person seeing you in this queen of swords energy is almost like it's going to be a complete shock to them because they never thought that you know they couldn't imagine what it would take to push you to be like that and if it's them that did that like they're really going to start thinking about their actions here and realizing a lot of things here and they're going to be going into this huge healing mode this huge healing sense and it's almost like this person's going to be very sad they're going to be very de depressed and very upset here um, and they're not going to know what to do. They're going to be feeling very lost and very miserable. And I think they're going to want to come to you because you're the only one that actually understands what's going on. But you can't be there for this person, right? You can't be there for them in this time of need because of the things that they've done for you or the things that they've done to you here. I also sense that you will be going through a healing mode. Um, I don't really see heartbreak here. It's almost like you just go, you skip the heartbreak and you go through the healing. It's like once you hear what you need to hear, that's all you need to know to move on, to move forward. 
you know, you know that there's something better out there for you. So I don't really see you going through a heartbreak, even though I see this tower moment is going to shake you up. I don't see it affecting you in a huge way. I really just see you doing the healing that you need to do in order to move forward here. And once you do that, I see this Knight of Pentacles coming towards you. This is somebody that is wanting something very stable, something very solid. This is somebody that is very slow moving, but they're very, very calculated, right? Um, they're very straight up. They're very honest and they're very down to earth here. This is somebody that will you'll be able to see like this is somebody that is very action oriented they actually probably don't say a lot this person may not be the best when it comes to conversations but when it comes to you know showing up and doing what they say that they're going to do they are always 100 percent when it comes to that here and then with the four of wands it's like this is a slow moving relationship that's new that's coming in towards you but it's something that has a huge possibility to lead to marriage or this could be saying that this is somebody that you will meet at somebody else's marriage baby shower or engagement but I am sensing that this slow moving Knight of Pentacles that's coming towards you because you learned a lot of lessons from this previous person or this person that is currently in your life now, the next person that is coming, it is going to be a slow moving relationship. But that is because you guys are building a strong, solid foundation here, really getting to know one another, all of the good and all of the bad before you guys even get to that point of serious commitment. Like this is going to be very slow. And you're going to appreciate the slowness for once in your life, actually, which is really funny about this. But I really sense that this could be somebody that is going to be in your life for a very, very long time. Somebody that matches you intellectually. They match you intimately. They match you emotionally, spiritually. A very, very good match for you. All right, so all I have is double Scorpio energy and Capricorn. So let's see. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, for the extended, we're going to look at this new person. Five of Wands. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's going to be a lot of conflict and a lot of arguments here. Um, and it's not just going to be between the two of you guys. I feel like this Tower moment that they're bringing into your life is going to have other people in your life and in their life very, very confused. It's going to cause a lot of conflict and a lot of arguments here. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the Eight of Cups. If you're dealing with the Capricorn, you're walking away, you're picking yourself up and walking away from this person, you're realizing that, you know, what once made you happy, it's it's no longer there. It's almost like this person changed as soon as they got you, right? They got very, very comfortable and they stopped trying, they stopped giving effort and they stopped matching you. So you're picking yourself up and you're walking forward, you're moving towards healing. You know that there's something better out there for you. You know that you deserve more, you deserve better and you're going to be walking towards finding what it is that you think um, is out there for you and others of you don't even know what's out there but you know that anything is better than being where you currently are because you feel stuck with this person and you don't want to feel like that anymore all right so um, for the extended we're gonna take a look at this new person coming in we're gonna take a look at um, how they're going to be feeling about you what their true intentions are what's the thing that drew them to you what their favorite thing about you is or will be and then we're going to take a look at anything that's hidden. Um, there's a couple of questions that we're going to take a look at. And we're going to also look at the romance angels. And we're going to, oh, especially what you need to know about this person. Um, we're going to take a look at the romance angels and the lover's oracles. I'm just going to pull you one of these work your lights. And then, yeah, we'll head on over to the other side. All right, very easy. I'm going to take this one too. So we have double mission, challenging and uplifting humanity. And then we have birthing a new age, rebirthing, or sorry, yeah, rebirthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Yeah, you're absolutely going to be on a, with this eight of cups, you're walking towards this new life, towards that nine of cups that leads you to that ten of cups. So maybe within a month, you're going to meet this new earth sign or fire sign. All right, you guys, so that is what I have for you. The link um, for the extended will be down below. Other than that, if uh, this is where we part ways, and I really hope that you guys have a beautiful week. 
and I will see you guys soon. Take care.